Daily Minutes of Saturday, August 2015. This is Peter John of Emergency Radio. Today, in one of our two weekly English broadcasts, we have the propagation bulletin of the RSGB. In addition to that, we have some data in MFSK128 around 1400 Hz. MFSK128 around 1400 Hz. CQ, 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 calling all radio amateurs and shortwave listeners. This is GB2RS, the news broadcasting service of the Radio Society of Great Britain. It comes to you from G4NJH in Nottingham. You can find the script on the RSGB's own web page. So, good morning. It's Sunday, the 16th of August 2015. This is GB2RS News. Propagation news now compiled by G0KYE, G3YLA, and G4BAO. Long range HF propagation showed signs of picking up this week. Whether this was due to the slow change to better autumnal propagation or from having a short period of fairly settled geomagnetic conditions is debatable. The settled conditions didn't last long, though, as the KP index was up to 4 on Thursday due to plasma from a high speed solar wind stream. The interplanetary magnetic field had a strong south facing component, meaning it coupled with the Earth's magnetic field and plasma flooded in. This brought poor HF conditions once again, with little being heard outside Europe on Thursday morning. Next week, the solar flux index is predicted to be in the range of 90 to 100, with more periods of unsettled geomagnetic conditions at times. Optimum working frequencies on 3,000 km paths during daylight are now about 18 or 21 megs on southerly routes, such as UK to South Africa, on easterly paths to the US, 14 or 18 megs are more likely to bring contacts. It's a similar story on the short path to Japan, where 18 megs remains favourite with occasional openings on 21. The Chiltern, the Chiltern Ionosonde indicated a critical frequency of 6.425 megs at midday on Wednesday, showing that 40 metres is not really a viable op- option for inter-G communications. 80 metre is better but suffers badly from daytime absorption. Now for VHF and up. After last week's excitement of the Perseids meter shower, it's back to more normal VHF conditions with just the tail end of the shower enhancing meteor scattered paths on the low VHF bands. Earlier in the week there was a weak ridge of high pressure over the UK, so some enhancement of tropo conditions is possible, chiefly overnight. There are two main high pressure centres this week, one over Scandinavia and the other near the Azores, and these are likely to persist, persist throughout the week. This could mean some slight, slightly enhanced tropo conditions up and down the North Sea as well as down towards the Azores. The trough of low pressure between these two highs may produce some heavy showers, resulting in possible gigahertz band, bands rain scatter paths within the UK. It's still worth checking for sporadic on 1570 megs in both the late morning and late afternoon peak operating windows and with jet stream activity over the Pyrenees, the first paths to look at should probably be those towards EA and CT. That's it from the propagation team for this week. Daily updates on the RSGB propagation forum. And that's all from me until next week. Daily Minutes is daily at 1700 UTC on 6.005 and 73.10 kHz and 5 minutes later on the PI2 NOS repeater system. Next day there are reruns, 800 UTC on 73.10 kHz, 830 UTC on PI2 NOS and 12.30 UTC on 95.60 kHz. Our weekend shows are in English, all other shows are in Dutch. Mail address is delta x-ray at x-ray delta victor dot mic echo. Our shows are also on youtube.com slash papa alpha zero echo tango echo. 